Okay, it, you guys could be physically distant, or you guys could be distant in your relationship at this time. Um, but you guys are have a newfound passion, excitement. You guys are definitely ready to take action in regards to take you know making love with this person or creating a romantic situations, etc. Um, and commitment is the only big issue that I see here with the King of Cups coming up in your hopes and fears. But why is the Seven of Swords coming up as your underlying energy, fam? This is about taking steps, sneaking, doing something kind of concealed. It doesn't have to mean it's a bad thing or you guys are doing something underhanded or cheating or anything like that. It could just indicate that you're doing something where you don't really want to communicate with this person quite yet. Like there's something that you're doing solo by yourself and as a surprise. I feel like with the star card, because the star is the is the card for Aquarius is the card for Aquarius and what is the rule of Aquarius right Uranus and Uranus is all full of surprises so I kind of feel like y'all planning something really big really huge as a surprise for you're the person that you really love from a distance like you're planning something super huge for this individual um um or you guys are taking a really big risk do you know with this sort of relationship that's at a distance and you're finding your you know truth in the relationship like under seeing something differently about the relationship or something about this relationship is bringing about a new perspective or some ideas it's in in in, in a way ex, you know um like setting your relationship like on a beautiful romantic fire like it's like you, there's a lot of passion in this relationship because of these great ideas that are coming up just to kind of continue to spice it up. So why do we have the page of cups in the past? Well, I kind of feel like there was maybe, maybe communication of love, something sparking, something small and loving and, and really beautiful that does, that needs nurturing and patience and time. Um, I do feel like with the page of cups, this could have been maybe a child maybe is coming along. Maybe this is the, the idea of children. But I kind of also, but if there's no children involved at all, this literally means that there's someone that's communicating the heart, share their heart with them. And it just kind of exploded from there, right? It's just like, boom. Now, somebody communicated the love, beautiful, passionate energy starting, and then the the confidence to to manifest the what this relationship would look like and be like in the in the physical time like this confidence comes from the love that they've that's been nurtured and taken care of even from a distance or even from you know the opportunities where you know or times where there wasn't an opportunity to really just focus on the love maybe you know the different the distance makes the heart fonder in some ways like i think there was just like a spark of love maybe you guys are starting to really connect and then it's just kind of kicked off right the energy just kind of just like took control and it just brought that strong emotional feeling with this person into this it brought out a lot of creative ideas to express your love and it's just so powerful and so beautiful scorpio so I love it. The Ace of Wands is coming up as your present. So right now, there's like there's a new project. It's, it's the fire coming back, the romance coming back, the sexiness is coming back. There's ways of dealing with each other's you know needs in a different way if there's a distance. But there's this fiery energy that's coming up. This this desire to live, this desire to express and to to just be right and just just do what you want to do. I love this Ace of Wands energy for y'all. So let's see what you guys why the Ace of Wands is coming up for y'all i mean i know why what is the ace of wands representing for you guys today or representing for you guys for the next couple weeks <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> death and of course death is one of those cards that comes up right but death is your energy it's your card and i don't mind that it's you connecting with your pure sexual you know scorpio energy and i know you know death is not necessarily you know nobody reads death as a sexual energy but i will today and the reason why is because there's a french word out there that describes an orgasm and that orgasm is called a little death in english so the fact that these two the ace of wands and the death card comes together i think there's something even though death is a slow grueling it's not, not a grueling process but it's a slow intimate process i feel like the sexual energy that you have towards this person has in a way brought about this transformational or, tra or transitional like energy so there's like a lot of changing a lot of adjusting but it's being filled with a beautiful lustful like powerfully energetic feeling of creation and beauty and so many beautiful other things so death yes there's a lot of difficult changes that were kind of that may have been 
you know, had, had to come in, maybe needed to change about you and this person. But in place of it, so much sexual, you know, energy, so much lust, so much um, fire, so much passion towards this relationship has grown. So much is taken its place. So whatever this perspective was, or whatever you, whatever ideas you had, maybe about a, you know this type of relationship or the connection that you have, it's gone, and or it's going, or, or it is gone. I feel like death is uh, it's already passed, so it's gone, and it's like because of this Ace of Cups, because somebody has had expressed themselves, you know, communicated that this is how they felt, and it in place of that came passion with for this person excitement this feeling to just you know to do things and to enjoy the company to be in the moment with this person most importantly not just sex but just truly just enjoying the person's energy and being you know in, just in love with the the vibration that you both create together that's the truth of it and that no matter where you guys are in the world that you guys will always connect and feel connected i think like this is such so awesome so the magician y'all coming out of this feeling real confident feeling good feeling like you have all the tools to execute what you guys may have be plan have planned for this relationship whatever this whole thing is it's, this it sparked an idea to manifest an ex a surprise I feel like there's been a lot of difficult things that you both had put up with, but you came out the other side stronger, better, and more more passionate for each other. And it's and it's inspired some sort of idea to manifest, or for you to manifest some sort of surprise for this person or someone else making a surprise for you. Whatever it is, it's done in secret, and this person doesn't really want everybody to know. And at the same time, it's a really huge risk because I feel like. There may have been like some small communication about feelings. And this is a really big step to manifest from a heart space of purity where there's maybe potential for this person to, to reject, you know, to put, you know, to say no or to do something where there's high risk. But the Seven of Swords talks about high risk. And I feel like despite you already knowing that you're going to do it anyway because you're coming from a genuine place and not coming from a place of contrived, of contrivity or, you know, trying to be, you know, trying to get some sort of result out of it. So the Six of Swords is not just only a card of mourning and sadness, but in you know, and it's also a card of traveling. So that's another thing that I'm saying. Like I've, maybe this is secret travel or getaway that you're planning, or maybe this someone else is planning. Or maybe this is suggesting that there may be a good. This is a good time to plan a vacation together and go out and do something fun, where it can take your relationship in totally, totally different possibilities, totally different, you know areas of you know of of a relationship by growing together and experiencing this voyage together um so maybe this is about planning a, a getaway planning a cruise planning a vacation where you guys really grow grow and bond together and see where this relationship can take you guys and you know and it's beautiful the seven the six of swords as well can also indicate too that there may be this you know with this death energy there may be like a lot of moving on, a lot of things to still adjust to. And of course, there may be this, you know, this, the part that, because one of the things I've noticed here parallel to this is the King of Pentacles. That's the, that's literally Taurus. And literally right opposite of that is, is you, Scorpio. It's death. So I feel like the thing that you may be trying to adjust to right now is not having this person around you physically, but still having all the passion and that energy around you um, and learning and adapting to how you can translate that passion into other ways because you don't may, you may not have the physical part because a lot of stuff that you have right here is non-physical. It's very emotional. It's a very, it's a very um, spiritual place and you rule the spiritual. You rule that you know, that um, underlying focus of, you know, the surface level things. That's why, you know, the Taurus is the opposite. It's parallel, I feel like, because right now you're learning how to love the person without them physically there, without having to buy them things or to do things that re represent something physically in the physical. It's something that is more intimate, more powerful, more potent, and it doesn't have a physical representation of it. How can you, do, you know, I feel like that's, that's where you're doing, that's what's going on. Like this, how do you translate your love without f touching them, without feeling them, without being with them? Because distance is such a big play in this whole thing. Um, And I feel like it's like discovering the, you know, discovering the love beyond the surface level. 
beyond what you've, you know, it's of course you've created a foundation. Of course, you're leaving something of, you know, that you knew once before, but you're discovering something new. And through that, you will, there's another part of yourself that you will learn, another part about this person that you will learn. There's something about this that obviously transcends what was, okay? So, lovers is definitely coming up in your external energy no doubt about the love there i feel like you already know what you love that's why the inner the case of wands is there there's the bonus card like i keep saying that's why i keep saying sex but there's a lot of passionate energy between you and this individual there's a lot of love between you and this individual between you and this individual and you know, despite this difference despite what maybe the ego is saying and what you know your body may be craving your heart knows who it wants to connect with like no other person will satisfy that part of you because this person is connected to you and you are connected to this person. Like this is the only person you want. So the King of Pentacles and the hopes and fears, I feel like is like not necessarily like desiring to touch someone or have something physically there. Um, I don't think there's even a lot of fear or doubt about the commitment that you have for this person um, or staying committed. Some of you guys, maybe it's maybe it's hard to to continue on a relationship where there's a distance and there may be that kind of small thought in your head like i don't know if i can continue to commit to myself to this person without physical representation of this individual but i kind of feel like with the king of pentacles it's like consistency routine providing in a sense um i feel like with the king of pentacles what this means here in the hopes of fears is that you just kind of you want there to be you know a real foundation built despite not being together you know can there really be something in of this relationship that can you know that can survive the distance that can survive the maybe not constant talking together spending time together something or perhaps like or maybe not having enough money maybe you guys do live together but there's some financial things that come involved there's the things that i can do that doesn't require me to be rich or whatever like let me see why the king of cups come up with the of fears a king of coins rather <clears throat> Why is the King of Coins coming up for Scorpio in their hopes and fears? Okay. Three cards came out. That's because of two of swords, two of wands, through six of swords, and the three of cups. Okay. Which like knowing what to do, like being caught, stuck at a crossroads. Like, of course, this distance here. Um, the six of court swords can indicate distance and then the three of cups does, can talk about a third party um but i don't have a lot of other cards that would indicate third party so i'm not gonna really go there with this it's more like connecting with friends maybe you know celebrating the connection even though there's distance this could be that you know you may end up resolving to be being friends but I don't think that this is really what it's like. I don't think it's saying that you guys will resolve to being friends. I think this is a hope that the relationship stays intact, you know, despite the distance and, you know, this, you know, despite maybe not really having a lot of things to do, but taking action and still enjoying the connection together. Three of Cups, you know. And then two, maybe this also allows you to have more time out with your friends, enjoying the, you know, the, your, your, the people that you do have close to you. So, hmm, wow. So your your outcome of this for this reading is the Knight of Swords, and that I always see this Knight of Swords as someone with tunnel visions. But I feel like communication is such a big thing when it comes to long distance relationships, or when it comes to a relationship that's at a distance. Communicating is so strong. Communication, no matter what phase your relationship is in, communication is a very strong thing, and I feel like. You're goal-minded. You already know what you want. You already know how you feel about the person. You already know that this person already makes you feel the way you want to feel. And the community, like, as long as you continue to focus on what you're trying to do, you're going to seek success. So let's go, go ahead and see what the Wisdom of the Oracle card has to say for your love life. <clears throat> Hmm, round and round. So round and round usually talks about a situation coming around, like literally showing back up. So you may have had something similar in the past, maybe where things were distant, or maybe you know you had to kind of improvise with your relationship in some way. But you've been through the cycle before. It, the only way things are going to be able to change is if you do something differently. I feel like you're kind of always going to be set up in a situation where you have to 
um, evolve from their situation versus kind of continue to shut it down or run from it. So like breaking up is not going to work. They, you know, you know, doing anything that you've doing anything that you've done before is not going to work. You have to do something differently when the world round around card comes up. It's literally like the wheel of fortune, or excuse me, like judgment. You can do it the old way, but that's not going to resolve the situation. And literally, I was just talking about improvising and working together, being creative. You know, expressing your love in a different way or in a, or in a new way that can still mean the same as if you were in person. It literally says, surrender your belief in scarcity. In scarcity. And that literally means not having a lot, right? So it says, the universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. That means you don't actually have anything. That you, you don't actually you know, lack anything. Nothing actually lacks. Not even in person. Not even from a distance. As a matter of fact, I think the, for some of you guys, you may hope to be in the physical with this person again, with the King of Pentacles, now that I look at it, because it's saying, like, how do, how do you take the steps to reconnect, to travel and reconnect? So I feel like for some of you guys, you really want to reconnect with this person. You really want to bring, be, this, be in this person's life. You want this person to be around you in the physical. You want this person to be yours and you for you to feel them, to touch them, to love on them, and to physically make love with them, maybe. Or to just, you know, experience life together, just be in each other's spaces. But you are always together. The situation is about looking at the situation not from, oh, we're apart, but we're together despite the distance. No matter where you are in your world, you are always in each other's hearts. You are always there. This person is never gone. This never, this person has never left. And it's seeing this leaving because no matter where you go, your home will still follow. Home is still in the heart. Your past is with you forever. You never leave it. But you have to move on in a way that doesn't disrespect the past, but to give honor to the past and give honor to your desires for the future, for beautiful or beautiful future that may have nothing to do with the past. But it's about knowing that no matter where you are, the person is still with you. And I feel like the situation is saying like there may have been situations where you may have been a dis at a distance from your partner. Again, like I say all the time, where there's something that's coming up with this person, your partner, that makes you feel like you can't do something at its full capacity without that person being there physically, or something in regards to money, or something in regards to abundance. You have everything to feel what you want to feel in person, but you have to see it beyond its physical and see it for its spiritual. And that's actually your gift, Scorpio. Like you guys are one of the people in the zodiac signs that can only stay, that can see that deeply. Other than Aquarius, you guys can see things in such a pure form, seeing it to its absolute core. And this is what it's asking you to do: see this relationship from its core, and not from what it sh can be, or what it should be, because it's not what it can't be, because it's not physically in front of you. And I'm not saying that all of you guys are like criticizing your relationship right now, or judging it because it's not to you guys are not physically together. But I am saying, like, you guys may be, like, coming to, to realize that the relationship that you have right now is so powerful and potent that no matter where you guys are in the world, you guys are connected and you guys are, you guys still love each other at the same capacity no matter what. And I feel like that's what you're realizing. Not that you're judging it, but that you guys are noticing that, hey, in order for us to be together, I have to know now that we are already together. Like, no matter if it's physical or not, we're together. And I think that's what you guys are noticing. I think that's what you guys are picking up. Now that you guys aren't seeing that now, but you guys are already seeing it. So that's real powerful, Scorpio. Really powerful reading. And that's what you guys usually bring, some powerful stuff, okay? 